Welcome to Denver Seminary. My name's Annie and I'm a current student here and also part of the admissions team. We're really excited that you're here with us to experience a little bit of what Denver Seminary has to offer. Although the best way to get an idea of what the campus is like is to be here in person, we know a lot of you don't have the opportunity to do so. So we hope as you engage with us virtually today, you can begin to start imagining yourself as a student here. Let's get started. I like to begin all of our tours here in the middle of campus. This is because in the intentional design of our campus when it was built, the sidewalk was created into the shape of a Christian ichthus fish that wraps around the entire campus. Right in the center of the fish is a cross made of red stone. And these are to remind us what the real foundation is of our seminary journey. For staff, students, and faculty, we're constantly walking around campus and reminded that everything here is not just centered around academics, but really it's centered around the gospel. We're being trained and prepared to engage the needs of the world with the redemptive power of the gospel and the life-changing truth of scripture. And I personally have been so grateful for that reminder in my three years as a student here. Denver Seminary was founded in 1950 by a group of conservative Baptist pastors who felt the need for a seminary in the area. Our first location was a little bit more north toward Denver. This campus, located in Littleton, Colorado, was built in 2005, debt-free from the ground up. There are two reasons I like for prospective students to know about that. One is that there are no hidden costs coming out of your education charges. Two is, regardless of your individual journey and how long it takes for you to complete seminary, the campus isn't going anywhere. Now that you have more information on our history, let me tell you about our current location here in Littleton, Colorado. I, like many of our students, moved across the country to begin school here, and getting to explore what the greater Denver area has to offer has been a highlight of my experience thus far. Littleton is a suburb outside of Denver, and the seminary is located about five minutes from downtown Littleton. We have easy access to light rail stations nearby that take you right into Denver, and we're 20 minutes from the foothills of the Rocky Mountains. You can see some 14ers from the other side of our campus near the Platte River Trail. The Platte River Trail is about 28 and a half miles long and used for walking, running, biking, leading people south toward Chatfield State Park and north into downtown Denver. Students also have free and easy access to Hudson Gardens, located just north from campus. In the spring and summer, there is a coffee shop right off the trail. In the summer, it's a venue for concerts and weddings, and at Christmas time, they have a really fun light display. As a student, it's great to have a trail and gardens nearby, and many students access both on breaks from class or on our many good weather days. Speaking of good weather, if you don't already know, Denver is incredible and known for having a proverbial 300 days of sunshine, which keeps people venturing outside year round keeps our winters enjoyable and melts the snow very quickly. I love living here as a student. So we started our tour at the front of our campus and now we've made it to the back of our property. From here, you have a great view of the mountains and the trail, and this is also where our on-campus apartments are located. Campus housing offers one, two, and three bedroom apartments, and there are 93 units available for current students. The seminary discounts student rent about 20% below market value, which makes it very affordable. Of the students that live here, half are married, half are single, and of the marrieds, half have kids. If you're considering the housing on campus, the convenience, affordability, and access to community are pretty hard to beat. Now that we've made it all the way around the campus, let me tell you a little bit more about the buildings here. Denver Seminary has what I like to call a what you see is what you get campus because it's pretty easy to find your way around. Over here we have the administration building and this is your one-stop shop for student needs. This is where staff, faculty, and administrative offices are. On the other side of the administration building is Shepherd's Gate Counseling Center. This is a low-cost community counseling clinic available for individuals in the Denver metro area. This is also where counseling students will do their practicum semester and engage in individual and group supervision with licensed professional counselors. Over here, we have the Simpson Leadership Center, also known as the Classroom Building. This is where you'll have all of your classrooms and also where the Denver Seminary Chapel is located. And our final building is the Student Center. 
This is where we have the student center, but also the library, and where students spend a lot of their time outside of class. Now let's go check out the classroom building. We have two main classroom styles in this building. Our lecture halls seat up to 96 people and provide the opportunity to engage with students across programs, since many of our core classes are held in this room. In the smaller classrooms is where you will have a majority of your classes. With a one to 12 faculty student ratio, the U-shaped design creates a highly engaging learning environment for our students. Our average class size is about 15 to 30 students. Before I take you to the student center, I just wanted to share with you one of my favorite things about being a student here, and that's the faculty. Though most of our faculty are practitioners in their fields and wear many other hats in their lives, they also take the time to get to know us as students. This reaffirms for me that our faculty truly care about us as students, not just as a number in a classroom, but as whole individuals who have something unique to offer to the world. As a Denver Seminary student, I can tell you our faculty truly care about us. So here we are inside of the Denver Seminary Library. With the natural sunlight and mountain views as you've already seen, it doesn't feel like a cave or a dungeon, but instead a great place to learn and enjoy what we're studying. There are over 175,000 volumes in the library, but if that's not enough, we also have access to an incredible online database and catalog, an interlibrary loan program, and staff who bend over backwards to make sure we can access the articles we need for research purposes. And in this part of the building is the Student Center. In 2011, we further developed our campus by adding a student center with a Mountain Lodge vibe that is the ideal place to study, spend time with friends, and connect with professors and other classmates. It also doubles as a community space for special events and is open to the community as a locally owned coffee shop throughout the week. This has truly become the hub of community life as staff, students, and faculty use this space to engage with one another on a regular basis. That's also why this is the perfect spot to conclude our tour. We hope to run into you on campus in the near future. As always, if you have any additional questions, don't hesitate to contact connect at denverseminary.edu and one of the admissions representatives will be with you as soon as possible.